an LGBT activist working on the visibility of uh, queer community in Ethiopia. So we, we've done uh, quite a number of activities and things which people are not happy and comfortable with. So because of that, our security got compromised to the point as living or dying. So we had to be in a safe space and Salzburg is a safe space and us being part of the Salzburg Global LGBTI Forum. Um, so we're here to share our stories as an LGBTI activist refugee. Uh, we're being part of this session. Well, with, the, with our house being ransacked and with us being attacked and with all the news spreading, we, those were the things that kind of escalated to a point where we couldn't live there anymore. Get, getting at the, at the threats, you know, like a, a, a random people anonymously inboxing you your photo, your phone number, your address, and telling you, we know who you are and we're going to kill you. And it's, it's just, you know, it is a very uh, uncertain uh, condition which paralyzes you. It's completely paralyzed. You, you, you just, you, you're not going to able to do, like, you know, even like probably today might probably nothing happen. But in your head, you, you're insecure and you're, you know, um, posed out of that threat. And, it's and also the problem was that all this was happening during a time in Ethiopia where Ethiopia is going through a state of emergency. And during this time, the government decided to shut off the internet, literally. So we had no internet. We couldn't reach out to the outside world. They were constantly police were constantly coming into our safe space. The neighbors were constantly attacking us. So this was, these were all just a series of events that led to. The problem was, one of the main aims as an activist for us was to build a profile of activism and of connections that would at some point guard us from these issues. But these things happened prematurely. We couldn't build ourselves up politically connection-wise, even within our community, for us to be secure, sort of. For us to be intimidating to the government or to, to the society or whatever. So this happened pretty... Yes, we did expect it, but it happened really quick. Um, so in a way... But uh, and then also like, you know, uh, and also within relationship of the Ethiopian, like Ethiopia being in a state of emergency, uh, Which things, also we didn't things automatically escalated. But that we, we knew, you know, what we're doing is, you know, really very controversial. And then, not, like, you know, Ethiopia is a very highly uh, religious and cultural and, you know, very proud of that. And who, they believe being homosexual is completely Western influence. And we know, we know we're being proactive. We, we know we're being, um, you know, a, a pushing something uh, not acceptable and then that with that there is we know it's a cost uh, that we have to pay but uh, this particular this, just this particular state of emergency situations which is with the ethnic violence and everything um, it's like the government had a blank check to do whatever they want and then that's exactly what happened within that period of time when the state of emergency being announced it's just less than a month. The police came three times in our house without any warrants. They just jump in through the window. And then when the society, when the neighborhood see that even police are doing that, you know, they even get more aggressive. They always been aggressive. They always been hateful, but it got within that period of time, all of a sudden, everything which used to be hateful, but like in somehow, uh, in, a, in a somehow controlled manner, just breast into, and then just everything become up in our face. Where the, there are challenges that come with be, coming to a completely new space. With that being said, we feel safe, we feel loved, protected. Um, yeah, I feel safe. Um, at, you know, like, so we're here as a, an LGBTI refugee in Austria. Uh, you know, like uh, that's that's our main our main 
point at that point when we are like uh, you know in a, in a in a very threatening positions is to be safe and austria provide that and austria is our you know new new home because you know for for us home is where you feel secured where you feel loved uh, where you can be legally protected so austria right now is our new home but uh you know but like you know you just move into a new space and that space has also a challenge by itself because you know one of, one of the most overwhelming experiences since, since i came here was the first so after we came we had to apply for asylum and then we had to go to the police and we had to tell them that we're here because we're gay and so that is a just an a really overwhelming experience because that just is not an experience that we had before so yeah. We were so scared. We went to the police station, and then we had to casually explain to the police. So we're here because we're, we're part of the LGBT community, community, and we're activists and everything. And he's like, uh huh, uh huh, and he's writing. And, and I'm like, why is something not happening just, right yeah. now? <laughs> it's just put it in a perspective what? because you know, like a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we were in a we police were getting station, bashed. being belittled, and then putting into less than a human position. And, and then actually when we were told like, oh, so where do we go and apply for asylum? And then they they're like, at they the police station. At the, up at the police station. And we our first not. reaction was like, police station? <laughs> we could not sleep that night. I couldn't sleep that night. Yeah. But I, then I the day we, went so casually. They're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, thank you. Goodbye. Salzburg Global LGBT Forum is, um, is home. It's home. It's a safe space. It's uh, it's it's where we got so many aha moments of of what we're trying to do, and uh, got uh, got a place where we meet so many extraordinary people where they've done so many things in their in the country where they're from, and they face so many challenges and everything, and then. And then that it was like back in 2015 when we were here for the first time. It was a huge kick to our spirit, to our energy of what we're trying to do. And uh, so Salzburg Global LGBT Forum is uh, it's it's it is it is everything. Is is everything what I'm trying to stand as a human? Is everything what I I'm trying to stand as an activist? It's everything what I'm trying to do as a human rights activist, and uh, it's home. It's home.